Hey guys, um, <laughs> it's, 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 you know, what can you say when, uh, things like this happen except, you know, your heart hurts and for me it was just really hard to breathe, you know, because I work with kids, you know, I work with kids every week. I see kids every week um, and I just imagine something this tragic happening to any of them and I, I, I hurt. So the, the families, the first responders, the individuals, anyone that was involved in the uh, Connecticut elementary school shooting. I. There's nothing that I can say that'll make it better. There's nothing that I can say that will make it okay. You know, I, I don't understand it. I am, am, am glad that I cannot understand how someone can do something like that. The fact that I cannot understand makes me, I, I, I don't want to understand, put it that way. But um, that's here nor there. Um, on Tuesday, what was it? Tuesday was December 11th. I filmed a video and I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to upload it. I just felt the need to film this video. Um, I filmed it right after um, my New Music Tuesday video on Bruno Mars. Because I just, I just felt this pull to do it. So um, that's what this is. So I, today's events just really sparked my desire to go ahead and upload it so here it is see you guys hey guys um i just got through filming my new music tuesday video and i did want to come uh on here and just talk for a second um this is actually something that's out of my comfort zone mainly because it's the holiday season and you know people can get really emotional I have a friend who is a psychiatrist psychologist therapist exchange the words something like that and uh she well her husband said that this time of the year is the busiest time for her because a lot of her patients can get so depressed and so sad and so lonely get to a point of this deep-rooted loneliness loneliness and depression that um they're put on monitored suicide watch and I've been thinking about all the things that have been going on you know in the news with um with you know Javon Belcher killing his girlfriend and himself um with that the two people from the Dallas Cowboys one was driving drunk and then they crashed and one of the passenger died and his teammate um just all these things that have been happening and it, not necessarily in 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 relation to the holiday season but just all of these things, you know, and these are, and it got me thinking that these families are gonna, are gonna go through this holiday season dealing with that pain and dealing with that hurt and dealing with looking around the dining room table and not seeing a, some, a member of their family. And, um, it just really got me, it made me really ref reflect, it made me very prayerful, very somber, and uh, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but I just, I just, I, I felt that I needed to say, just be grateful. I mean, if you, be, if you're not in any position that these families are, 
to where they're suffering like this and, and dealing with the loss of a member and this kind of a family member in this kind of way, be grateful. Be grateful that you're still surrounded by people that love you and be grateful that you get to celebrate it this, this holiday season with people that love you. And if you're feeling hurt, lost, lonely, depressed, speak up. I, I know it's easier said than done. I know that. But just a simple help. Just a, I need you. I need help. Could save lives. You know, could save your life. Could save somebody else's life. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sick. Um, and I'm not speaking from personal experience. I have never lost anyone in that manner. Well, I have. I've lost a cousin to gang violence. Um, but we weren't close. And while he is my cousin, and I, 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 I am saddened by, you know, his death, um, we weren't close. He wasn't at my Christmas dinner table, you know. But it, it, it's hard for me to compute losses, tragic losses of family members because I've never dealt with it. I pray to God that I never have to. I really, really do. Um, I have a, a friend that I love so deeply that is struggling right now with addiction and with trauma that, and, and I pray for her every day. I have a friend, another friend who is slowly losing himself to the wrong crowd. I believe in my heart of hearts, he's losing himself and I pray for him dearly. And those are people that I'm not going to get to celebrate the Christmas season with because they're at a place where I can't reach them. And um, that's the pain I feel. It's a different kind of loss. It's a loss that may not always be a loss. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys that this holiday season and even the year round, whenever you're feeling hurt, lost, lonely, confused, anxious, ready to just take matters into your own hands and just leave this earth. I just I just beg of you to know and to understand that even though I don't know who you are, we have never met that you are loved. You're loved greatly because we're brothers and we're brothers and sisters we're we're family i believe that in my heart of hearts i am a christian i am someone who believes that god created us all as one great big family we're all one body of christ you may not share in that belief and that's 100 percent okay but i do and whether you're an atheist agnostic buddhist I can't think of anything else. Hindu, Muslim, Hindu, yeah, Hindu, Hindi, Hindu. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, any Jewish, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. We're, we are family. We are on this earth together. It is up to us to help each other coexist. Not That's not even the right word. Help each other just live in the best manner that we can. Support each other, community love and this is getting really cheesy really fast but I just wanted to really put that out there to just say that you are not alone and how you feel there are people that feel lost depressed anxious confused everything angry and I mean this in no simple way but it will pass. I know it doesn't feel like it. And I know that some of you may be very angry with me for saying that. But you don't know my story. You don't know what I've been through. And I don't know what you've been through. But I can tell you from someone who has survived something. It will pass. And I pray 
that this holiday season, that revelation is revealed to you in some manner and um, that you're able to find some kind of peace or some kind of joy and some kind of community this holiday season. So that's what I wanted to say. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys take care of yourselves and have a great holiday. And I will see you in my next video, which will be more chipper than this one. See you guys. Bye.